Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, and uh, what I do is I like to write to athletes and celebrities, even sometimes the occasional World War II veteran, and get their autograph through the mail. Uh, it's a great deal of fun. Um, there are links down below in the description if you want to find out where I get all my addresses from, and my ideas and everything, and also there's plenty of other tips and how to do this hobby um, further down on my channel. Um, you can look up the how, how I do my TTMs, and also photo printing tips. They're all on there for you, but today I'm going to recap uh, this week for you. Um, let's see what is today, the 20th. So the 19th through the 24th for you. Um, the mail came late on Monday, so I picked it all up on Tuesday. So it was kind of just all combined together. So we'll start it off with the football return. It is a Battle of the Decades contest return. I'm coming back from Mr. Neil O'Donnell returned um, one card. I sent him two I think. So maybe he kept that one liked that one, I'm not sure. But that counts towards the Team 90s, so we got another point. Uh, Team 70s is still ahead of us so far, but uh, there's still a long ways to go, so um, uh, just one point for my team. And then we got some baseball here. We got uh, two cards signed by Mr. Bill Landrum whose dad also played who well, I've gotten before a few years ago but uh, I had a couple cards of him and I thought uh, it'd be kinda cool to send him out uh, last time I wrote to him was probably in 2014 he was one of the first ones I wrote out to during the summer so cool to get back from Mr. Landrum still signing five years later uh, this was sent uh, I don't I can't remember where he's coaching at but I uh, figured I'd give it a shot uh, I guess he's not Super happy to sign in person, so I thought I'd give a shot. TTM, Mr. Mark Grudzelenic, uh, pretty decent infielder, um, pretty good defensively, and all right offensively. But uh, overall, good baseball player, good infielder. I remember seeing him play a little bit when I was first uh, watching baseball and interested in it. And I remember pulling this guy's rookie card out of a 2007 Fleer pack. Me and my little brother at the time would do these uh, pack wars and we'd always go to the Kmart and get these 2007 Fleer or 2007 Tops or 2008 Tops or whatever uh, depending on what year it was and like 99 cents and dollar ninety nine for Tops or his rookie card Mr. Ryan Fierbrand uh, he is a knuckleball left handed knuckleball pitcher he's currently with the Buffalo Bisons right now and I think their season should be probably coming to a close pretty soon so the window is closing for the minor league guys if you're going to send to them. But unless they get called up to the big club on the 40 man roster, then you might have a shot here. So, got them Rangers, Mariners, and the Blue Jays. He also went to Japan for a little bit. Then I got actor Lyle Wagoneer from uh, Wonder Woman TV series. He signed, uh, inscribed it to me and Bruce, so in case, you know, whichever one I want to give Bruce there. By the way, his package did go out on Saturday morning, and he sent his to me, uh, I think, today, or yesterday, I'm sorry. So we should hopefully receive our packages around the same time. So that should be fun to uh, recap that with you guys, and uh, hopefully he'll enjoy his. And also, I sent Kim had sent him a few items, so I put that in there as well, and a whole bunch of like football cards and soccer cards I had for him. So uh, that's it for Monday and Tuesday. Um, if I get anything tomorrow, Wednesday, which I'm not expecting anything, because usually Wednesdays are my days I get like nothing. <laughs> and then I guess I'll be back on Thursday or Friday for you. So uh, I'll be right back in just a second for you guys. Alrighty, I've got uh, a recap for Thursday and Friday. Didn't get anything on Wednesday. Um, it was kind of as normal, so... Um, Thursday there was two TTMs. Um, got Mr. Steve Farr. I sent him two cards that I had. Uh, 91 Upper Deck and 92 Pinnacle. And then he was kind enough to include an extra one on 88 Tops when he was with the Royals. And even put in a penny sleeve and everything. So that was pretty neat to get that one. Then got uh, actress Catherine Grant Crosby. She signed one for me and one for Bruce. Something like that. 
Um, she was in uh, Sinbad, an old movie back in the 50s, early 60s, I believe, and several other films. Then, for Friday, we did get a return to sender. Um, it's coming back from a World War II veteran, Norman Baker. He was in Iwo Jima. Uh, that is apparently not his address anymore. Um, I don't know if he passed away. I have to double check. I had gotten him before several years ago. I just thought it'd be cool one to get for Garrett. But uh, I have to maybe try again. I don't know. All right, sorry. People keep walking in the room. They don't want to be on camera, so I have to keep stopping. Um, then we got. Regine Lamellon um, on a tops card. This is 88, 89. Um, I had a few hockey cards, so I thought it'd be kind of cool just to see if I can get some of these guys that signed. And most of them did in the little stack I had, so uh, gave it a shot and it worked. So, Hawkeye, and of course, you know, I like to get the hockey goalies, that's always fun. And we got a football return. He was part of the 1985 Bears Super Bowl shuffle. Um, so he signed a picture of an 85 Topps card. That's about all I could find for him. And then I sent him one of my little custom deals. But this is punter Dave Finzer. So uh, signed kind of like a... It's kind of like a... I thought it was purplish. It shows a more purplish on this one. But I think it's just a blue pen. So... Uh, Cool return there, Super Bowl shuffle. Then got a couple baseball turns. This is a current MLB pitcher. He's on the Cubs. So that's where I sent to. Wrigley Field. This is Mr. Kyle Ryan. Left-handed, uh, I believe he's a reliever. So that came back pretty quickly. So very cool. If you're looking for Maybe a quick uh, current MLB player to send to. He'd be a good one for you. Then uh, decided to resend this one since uh, we got his address on the return to sender envelope. This time it worked. And Mr. John Castino from the Twins. And I uh, love this one. He put in the description the only ball that never came down. And 79 AO Rookie of the Year. John Castino, so very cool to get that one. Then uh, got actor um, Jason Alexander from uh, Seinfeld for a Garrett. He signed one, as you can see there. So very happy to get those back, and pretty pretty quickly. I think I sent a couple months ago, maybe a month and a half. And then I got a little care package from a YouTuber. Um, he's kind of fairly new. Um, so if you guys are looking for a, a new YouTuber to watch and check out his videos, I really appreciate it. His name is Chris Crafts 101. Um, pretty awesome guy. He's uh, uploaded some, several videos of his political autograph collection. Uh, he's got a whole collection of jockey autographs. He just uploaded a racing autograph collection he's working on and all sorts of stuff. So. Uh, if you're interested, I'd really appreciate it if you guys just go give him a look and uh, give him some su support. So, uh, Chris messaged me, he said he wanted to send me something. I said, you know, that's not necessary, but if you really want to, uh, I will also repay the favor. Um, so, I'll put a little something together for you, Chris, as well. Now I got your address and stuff. So, send that off to you. So, let's see what he sent. Try not to show his address or nothing. Rip anything. So we'll read the note first. It says Caleb, thanks for being a great YouTuber who motivates me to start my own channel. One of the few channels I can't wait to see new videos posted. Oh, well, thank you. It means a lot, man. I really appreciate the support. Um, really wish I could go back to daily videos again, but 
the busy schedule, you know, doing it once a week. So I hope uh, make those longer videos uh, doesn't make it too hard for everybody to tune in. But uh, do try my best to get that out for you guys. So uh, he says I was thinking about starting a channel for years, but on my on May 10th, 20, 2019, I posted my first video. I really enjoy doing videos now and hoping to meet fellow YouTubers who also enjoy the hobby autographs. Keep up the great videos and I hope you enjoy the autos I sent you. Chris, Chris Grass 101. And we got an autograph there for YouTube PC. So thank you so much there, Chris. Glad I could help uh, inspire you to uh, film videos. And, uh, you know, that's how I started. I was watching guys and I was like, you know, this looks like fun. I'd really like to able to talk with other guys who also share the same passion as I do and uh, it's been the best one of the best decisions of my life honestly so uh, wouldn't, wouldn't it be as fun if I was just collecting all of them so uh, well, it's quite a few items in here I wasn't expecting this much we got a 2002 top sign by Mr. Paul Shuey from the Cleveland Indians that's cool. I don't know if I have Paul Shuey yet. Uh, Mr. Gene Garber, a uh, very underrated closer throughout the late 60s to the 80s. Very cool. 83 tops. Paul Kilgus, I don't think I have him either. Left handed reliever from the Cubs. Uh, Bob Malaki. Um, I don't know if I have him. I might have him. I think, uh, oh, it's Pete Harnish I've sent to like once or twice and I've never heard back from him. So that's cool. Orioles. Got Ken Obgrafell. Oh, Chris is also, I think, an Orioles fan as well. He's got a whole collection of uh, Orioles autographs that he's got in person. A Garth Iorg. Very good TTM signer. Blue Jays. Also his brother Dane. I think either one of them has, I think, either a son or a or something that in the majors now or recently I think because I think I've seen another IO in the league uh, very cool Scott McGregor Orioles legend there um, doesn't sign too much now he was he, he like signed a ton then he stopped and then he signed again and now I think he stopped again so not sure so that's all really cool in there OPG this one's really nice this guy's made a career out of being Primarily a defensive catcher uh, or a personal catcher, pretty much for like Zach Greinke and other guys that honestly, you know, he's a key contributor to their success. But on a rookie card, Mr. Jeff Mathis, still in the league. So that's really cool. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see the glare. Maybe it'll help if I take it out of the penny city. This one he got in person. It's a little better. So that's cool. I don't think I have any Jeff Mathis autographs. And then finally we got Royals starting pitcher. Uh, kind of Royals legend really. Mark Gabixka. This was IP. I think he still works for the Royals. I think I still got a... I've got him before but I think I sent a second request to him. I don't think I heard back yet. So... So that's really cool to get back. So thank you so much, Chris. That was really generous of you. I wasn't expecting this many cards. I was just like maybe, maybe just send him one or two. So uh, that's really cool of you to uh, send all these. So very nice additions to the baseball autograph collection. And uh, I'll be sure to save the envelope and your address and send you something all the way. So be on the lookout. I'll put something together for you. So uh, thank you so much, guys for watching this segment I will hopefully have some mail for you Saturday we'll open up live here in a few hours uh, when the mail comes so I'll see you in just a second all right I am back and with a special guest here my sister Caitlin and also Duke who literally has not moved since the last segment I filmed about three hours ago <laughs> so he's still having a good time there um, I invited her to join this video because she got a special package in the mail today from a uh, voice actor she likes, Mr. Matt Mercer. And hopefully 
He did sign one for you. <laughs> That'd oh, be I, really anticlimactic. Yes. Oh, I, I do have a way to take the personalization off if it's to me. So don't worry. But I do have three other possible returns here. I also goofed up and uh, <laughs> forgot to put postage on these two. Well, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because uh, I made a photo order and forgot to put this one in from Marv Cook. So. I'll just have to resend them and put a postage on it, so I made a mistake there. I also forgot to include this in J.C. Martin's, but that's besides the point. So, I know you want to get into this, so I'll try and quickly do these three. So, first off, this is coming back from Canada, and it was sent out August. So, let's see who we got. Probably a hockey player. Indeed it is, and I did include some money, wasn't sure how much, or if he actually does charge, but sent to Guy Lafleur. I think I might have sent, I have sent 5 or 10, I'm not sure. So, I've, I've never sent to MTTM before. I've gotten autographs of him from other people, so I thought it would be cool to send to him, and then he included a couple extras. So that was nice of him. So that's one. Then uh, this one's come back from Memphis, Tennessee. This is from also this month in August. And this is coming back from Mr. Stanley Morgan, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame one of these days. Pretty good Patriots wide receiver. So very cool to get back from him. And final one here for me. Let's come back from Phoenix, Arizona. Sent out in August. And it's coming back from Mr. Tony Mandrich. Also signed too. So that will go towards the... Uh, Battle of the Decades contest since he is a 90s player, so finally I got one. So very cool. So now the moment Caitlin's been waiting for. Okay, what the? Probably, yeah. Little opener. Let's see what he said. Okay. Uh, Matt Mercer's a voice actor. She likes him a lot of video games. She likes to play, and. Uh, I also like them in the movie Mythica that I stumbled across by accident on Amazon Prime. It's pretty good. Hey. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. So that's pretty cool. This is empty, right? Yeah. Yes. I think that was it. Just the cardboard and leave it in, right? Yep. Okay. There you go. Get you guys close up there. So Mr. Matt Mercer. So very cool. So... So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the, the support, um, and uh, look forward to seeing what other mail days you guys got and catching up on videos. And just thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys all next week with another recap. So bye. Say bye, Duke. Bye. There you go. <laughs>